Are you okay? Yeah, I just got accepted to my dream university. That's great news, no? Yeah. You don't seem to be in the mood to celebrate, though. Well, I usually go to my mom with great news, but she passed away last week. I'm so sorry. It's not your fault. So, tell me about the uni you just got in. Maybe I could pretend to be your mom for a minute. You do that? Of course. Well, I got a letter from... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, they're ready for you. Are you sure you can do this? I, yeah, I don't get nervous. I just imagine the crowd naked. Evan, this is a support group for families who have lost a loved one through unaliving themselves. Please don't do that. That's why I've prepared a few jokes. Please don't tell any jokes. Right, smart, smart. Yeah. Thank you. Go on, they're waiting for you. Right, yep. Okay. <clears throat> hey guys, how's it hanging? <gasps> um, Sir, your son's been kidnapped and the kidnapper's on the phone right now. Hello? Why are you transferring me $100,000 right now or your son gets it? Gets a what? Dad? Oh. Yeah, okay. You, you don't care? No, don't give a shit. But, but he's your son. He got a B minus in the math class last week. I was going to send him to Jesus myself. You doing me big favor. Uh, okay, well, if, if you don't send me the money, I'm I'm gonna... Hey, what's your dad afraid of? Uh-huh. Uh, okay. I'm gonna send him to school. Okay? Acting school. <laughs> you sick motherfucker. Yo, son, you should study more. But why? So you can get good grades. Then what? You'll get a good paying job. Then? You'll get a big house, a nice car, and have a better life. Okay, then? And then you'll be able to relax. What do you think I'm doing right now? Oh, great heavens! Turn around and give me all your money. Okay, please don't shoot. Please don't shoot. Wait, Greg? Mark? <laughs> Holy crap, Oh my Greg, god, Mark, long time no see, man. It's been a while. <laughs> yeah, it has. Hey, get down on your knees real quick. How you been, man? Uh, just got back in town for vacation. How you been? Oh, I've been great. But hey, you still date that girl Jessica? Nah, me and her broke up a while back. But remember Stephanie from math class? Uh, yeah, I think I remember her. <gasps> wow. It's our anniversary today. Congratulations, man. Yeah, it's been six years already. <laughs> yeah, cute kids, too. <laughs> Thanks, man. Alright, well, I'm about to pistol whip you, but it was nice seeing you again. Yeah, you too. Alright, take care. Freeze! Put the gun down and put your hands up. Tony? Greg? Tony? M Mark? Oh my god. Wow. I can't believe this it. gang's all here. So I'm not allowed to hold my sister's baby anymore because the one time I held it, I dropped it. It, it wasn't even, okay, it wasn't even like a big deal. It was an accident, right? But then she starts screaming at me. She calls the cops. She says I did it on purpose, blah, blah, blah. All the while, of course, I'm denying it and stuff like that. But the real question is, who brings a baby to the Grand Canyon? One day, a husband calls his wife, but his daughter answered. Hello? Hey honey, this is daddy. Is mommy near the phone? No daddy, she's upstairs in the bedroom with Uncle Paul. But honey, you don't have an Uncle Paul. Oh yes I do, and he's upstairs in the bedroom with mommy right now. Uh, okay honey, this is what I'm gonna need you to do. Put the phone down, run upstairs, and knock on the bedroom door. And shout to mommy that daddy's car just pulled into the driveway. Okay daddy, just a minute. A few minutes later, the little girl comes back on the phone. I did it daddy. And what happened honey? Well, mommy got scared, jumped out of bed, started running around, she tripped, hit her head, and now she isn't moving. Oh my god, what about your Uncle Paul? He also got scared, tried to jump out of the back window into the swimming pool, but he didn't know that you took out the water last week to clean it. He hit the bottom of the pool, and I think he's dead. After a long pause, the dad says, Swimming pool? Wait, is this 3517381? No way, you got me a VR headset? Well, don't just sit there, put it on. Okay, okay. What are you doing, sweetie? I'm about to fly a helicopter. Oh, that's nice. Oh my god! Granny just fell over! Somebody called 911! Granny fucking dying on the dance floor! Oh my god! Oh, I forgot the bananas. I'll be right back, okay? Okay, whatever. <gasps> Wait, mommy, don't leave me! about that <sighs> a woman walks into a rooftop bar and sits next to a guy what are you drinking she asks the guy magic beer he says oh yeah what's so magical about it then he shows her he drinks some beer dives off the roof flies around the building and then finally returns to his seat oh my god the woman says let me try some of that she drinks some of the beer leaps off the roof and dies 
The bartender shakes his head. You know, you're a real jerk when you're drunk, Superman. Answer the question. Why me? I didn't even raise my hand. Oh, answer the question. Like, why can't you pick him to answer? Because he's always quiet and doesn't disturb the class like you do. I'll be quiet if you ask him instead. Fine. What comes after C? Or. What comes after R? PG. What comes after A? K-47. What comes after X? Explosion. Oh, great heavens! Everyone run! Now, listen up, class. Tell me a sentence that starts with an I. I is the... Stop! Never put is after an I. Always put am after an I. Okay, I am the ninth letter of the alphabet. Excuse me, can you tell me why you're packing your books away? The bell's about to ring. No, no, get your books out. There's still 24 seconds left of class. Let me guess. The bell does not dismiss us, you dismiss us. Wow, you finally got something right this year. Ooh, got him. Come on, get up, let's fight, let's go. You'll lose. Oh yeah, and why is that? Because you were forsaken at birth. What? Oh, oh, oh. You don't understand, do you? No, your kind will never prosper. Hey, what are you doing? Oh. What is it? What have you done to me? I've located the bomb. Oh, good. How much time until it detonates? Uh, how would I know that? There should be a big red digital display right in the middle showing exactly how much time we have to defuse it. There's not one. What? Why would the person who made the bomb want us to have that information? Oh, you're right. That's a good point, actually. What do I do? Well, okay, okay. I can tell by how fast the bomb is beeping. We probably only have a few seconds left before it detonates. Hold on, let me turn this off real quick. What'd you say? What did you just do? My watch was beeping, so I turned it off. So the bomb wasn't beeping. Tech, it's a hidden bomb. Why would it be? Ah! Okay, never mind. Just cut the red wire. There is no red wire. Oh my god! Have you done this before? Screw it. Just cut the first wire. Was that a random guess? No. My whole life depends on this, man. Do you not get I'm that? I'm sorry, man. I've had a really stressful day so far, and in my defense, this is nothing like the movie. Are you serious? Action movie directors should really do better research. I am going to die! Hey, don't run away. Come on, fight oh, me, dude. Hey, fight, fight me. Fight uh, me. Uh, you're hurting me. Oh my god, lighten up, man. You act like I'm abusing you. I'm just having a good time. Ah! What? Dude, I'm literally, like, flicking you at this point. Oh! Oh, God! Oh, you broke my arm! Oh. You viciously broke my arm! I'm, I'm sorry, man. L let me help you. Let me help you real quick. No! You broke my leg! Oh! How'd that happen? I tried to tell you. You didn't listen. Okay, fix this. I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna help you. Oh! Oh, 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 oh no! I didn't do that! I've been doing me. it on purpose! Oh, I didn't God. do that! I've lost vision in both my eyes. Oh, I'm going into cardiac arrest. You kill me! Oops, got your coping skills. Now let's see what we got. That's not a coping skill. This little old lady goes to the doctor and tells the doctor that she's got this real bad problem with gas. She says, it's not that bad though because they're always silent and they never stink. She tells the doctor, I farted 20 times since I've been in here and you didn't even know it. The doctor says, well take two of these and come see me in a week. She comes back about a week later and she tells the doctor, I don't know what you gave me, but my farts smell god awful now. He goes, all right, well, now that your sinuses are cleared up, let's work on your hearing. All right, what's your first wish? I wish I was rich. Okay, what's your second wish? I wish I had a billion dollars. So little Johnny's in class one day, and the teacher says, all right, little Johnny, I got a riddle for you. She says, what kind of tree can you fit in your hand? Well, Johnny thinks about it, and he says, well, that's easy, teacher. You can fit any tree in your hand as long as it's a little bitty seed. Teacher says, well, actually, little Johnny, it's a palm tree. But you know what? I like the way you're thinking. So little Johnny gets mad and he goes, well, you know what, teacher? I got one for you. He says, I'm about six inches long. When you take me out of your mouth, you spit. And I'm a whole lot more fun when I vibrate. What am I, teacher? Teacher thinks about it and goes, oh, oh, little Johnny, that is disgusting. Go to the principal's office. Little Johnny says, what for, teacher? I'm talking about a toothbrush, but I like the way you're thinking. This guy with no arms goes into a bar. He sees that there's no one in the bar except the bartender. So he walks up to the bar, orders a drink. Bartender gives him the drink. The guy, who has no arms, he says, Hey, you think you can get the wallet out of my pocket and take the money out and pay for the drink? Bartender says, Yeah, sure. Then the guy asks him, You think you can hold the drink up to my lips till I'm done drinking? Because I got no arms. Bartender says... All right, sure. When he's done with his drink, the guy says, Hey, you think you could take a napkin and you can wipe the foam off my mouth because, you know, I got no arms. Bartender says, Yeah, sure. They sit in silence for a second. Then the bartender says, Look, I don't want to be rude, 
but it must be very difficult to have no arms and to ask people to always do things for you. And the guy says, yeah, it gets pretty embarrassing. Hey, by the way, where's the restroom? And the bartender says, oh, the closest one is at the gas station three blocks down. Probably already aware that the word bed actually looks like a bed and thus taller people would have to sleep in beads. But did you know that if you take the value of pi, which is 3.14 and you hold it up to the mirror, it actually spells pi? Einstein sits next to a man on a flight. He says, let's play a game. We ask each other questions, and if you don't know the answer to my question, you pay me $5. But if I don't know the answer to your question, I pay you $500. He agrees, and Einstein asks, what's the distance between the Earth and the Moon? The man does not know, so he gives Einstein $5. The man then asks Einstein, uh, what goes up on a hill with three legs, but comes down on four? Einstein thinks about it for a long time. But he, he can't figure it out, so after an hour, he finally gives the man $500. Einstein then says, so what was the answer? Then the man reaches into his pocket and gives Einstein $5. Hey kid, want some drugs? Yes. Is that easy? No stranger danger? You got drugs or not? Hey man, I was just playing, man. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. What you playing for? Where the drugs? I love drugs. Give me the drugs. God damn, where the drugs at? Drugs. Drugs. I saw this kid on the street the other day wearing like rags, dirty clothes. I looked at him I'm like, are you an orphan? He goes, yeah, what gave me away? Parents. <laughs> and just ever since I lost my eyesight after the crash and not being able to see anything, it's just been, it's been awful. Yeah, I, I... <laughs> I see. Yeah, I know you can fucking see, but I can't! No, no, We're talking okay, about I'm me sorry, here! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Look. Look where! I don't have any eyes! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, I'll stop talking, I'll stop talking. <laughs> and you know, not not only my eyes, I lost both of my legs, and, and not being able to walk anywhere without assistance has just been it's just been horrible. And yeah, I guess it's a pretty, pretty dark time in your life. <laughs> Get it? Because, no, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just pulling your leg. And Get the fuck out! Get the okay, fuck out I'm of here! here. Get hey Siri, you gotta stop roasting me. People think you're mean. I'm sorry. There's something I want to say to you. Come closer. Closer. Tell me. Don't be ashamed of who you are. That's your parents' job. Okay. Shoot it. Nine. What? It's not worth it. Wh what do you mean he's not worth it? He just killed 16,000 people. Shoot him. If I kill him, I'm just as bad. No, nope, that's definitely not how it works. He killed your son. What the? Look at him. He's smiling. <laughs> He's learned his lesson. He won't kill again. No, I probably will. I love killing. Probably you two next. He's just said he's going to kill us. We've just spent two hours of the movie chasing this guy. Shoot him. All right, let's go. Fuck that. Who wrote this movie? A guy asks a girl to a dance. She agrees, and he decides to rent his suit. The rental has a long line, so he waits and waits, and he finally he gets a suit. He decides to buy flowers, so he goes to the flower shop. The flower shop has a long line, so he waits and waits until he finally buys flowers. He picks up the girl and they go to the dance. There's a long line into the dance, so they wait, and they wait. Finally, they get into the dance, and the guy offers to get a girl a drink. She asks for punch, so he goes to the drink table, and thank God, there is no punch line. Hey Mike, uh, can we talk in private? Oh, yeah, uh, why? Is somebody following you? No, th this is the problem. I'm sick of you pretending to be a detective. Oh, uh, well. You accused our chiropractor of being a fraud. Uh, I had a hunch, okay? And I still had one afterwards. I don't yeah. even see you in the bedroom anymore. Yeah, because I have to be undercover. I've told you this. Mike. Um, we need to split up. <laughs> Good idea. We'll cover more ground. No! You failed the test. Why didn't you study? Because there's 365 days in a year. After taking away 52 Sundays, there's only 313 days left. There's 50 days in the summer that are just way too hot to do any work, so that leaves us with 263 days. We sleep 8 hours a day, so that adds up to 122 days, and now we're left with 141 days. If we only spend 1 hour a day doing something fun, then that's 15 more days gone, so now we're left with 126 days. We spend two hours a day eating, which is 30 days, so now we have 96 days left, 
We spend another hour talking to friends and family, which takes another 15 days away. So now there's only 81 days. Exams and tests take another 35 days a year, which means we're left with 46 days. If we take 40 days for holidays, then we're only left with six days. Now let's say you were sick for three days. Now you only have three days left and two of those days you went out shopping. So now you're left with one day, but that one day is your birthday. Ah, stupid thing. Bro, you good? I'm trying to figure out what IDK stands for. You don't know what IDK means? No, and neither does Google. What do you mean Google doesn't know? Look. What? I know, it's like they're hiding it from me. Hey, well, where are you going? I'm, I'm going away. But we need to solve the mystery. Uh, I don't know either. The internet won't tell me, it's stupid. No, you're stupid. A man is on trial for murder. The judge asks, why would you kill 24 people? Okay, so I was driving down the road, and I came around this blind curve, and that's when I saw these two guys in the middle of the road. On one side of the road, there was this restaurant that had outdoor seating, and I tried hitting the brakes, but they weren't working. So I had to make a choice. Hit the two guys or run into the restaurant? Obviously, you would hit the two guys, the judge yelled. That's what I was trying to do. After I hit the first guy, the second one ran into the restaurant. And this team is just absolutely atrocious. We will be right back after the break. This is my son, and at just five years old, he was killed in a speeding car accident. Oh, damn. Every year, over 10,000 people are killed from speeding accidents. And we're here to make a change. Go to www.drivingforchange.com today. Hot Wheels new Mega Ultimate Crash Course! Line up your racers and go up to 200 miles per hour in the biggest battle arena of all time! Be the last one standing and absolutely decimate your opponents and send them into the sky! Ooh, what kind oh, of time is this one In kindergarten, Jimmy had to go to the bathroom. He asked the teacher, but she said, you can go to the bathroom after you recite the alphabet. Jimmy said, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. The teacher said, Jimmy, where's the P? He said, it's trickling down my pants. This little boy has this toy airplane that he loves to play with. He's in the living room playing with it. His mother's in the kitchen listening to him. And she hears him go, vroom, vroom, vroom. All you motherfucking people who want to get on, get on. All you motherfucking people who want to get off, get off. The mother, very angry, runs out, grabs the plane, and sends the kid upstairs to his room. About 15 minutes later, she goes back upstairs and she looks at him and she says, all right, listen, you can play with the plane if you don't use that foul language. Kid agrees, goes back into the living room. Mom goes back into the kitchen. Mom listens, vroom, vroom. All you wonderful people who want to get on, get on. All you wonderful people who want to get off, please get off. And if you have a problem with the 15 minute delay, you can go talk to that fucking bitch in the kitchen. A man is watching TV when he hears a knock on his door. He opens it and it's a salesman. The salesman says, uh, can I interest you in a toothbrush? Only $10. The man says, $10 for a toothbrush? That's insane. Absolutely not. The salesman then says, well then, uh, could I interest you in a brownie? Only $1. The man says, all right, why not? So he takes a bite from the brownie and immediately spits it out. He says, this tastes like crap. The salesman replies, it is. So can I interest you in a toothbrush? Excuse me, doctor. My girlfriend's pregnant, but we always use protection and the rubber has never broken. So what's going on? Let me tell you a story. There was once a hunter that always carried his gun wherever he went. One day he picked up his umbrella instead of the gun by mistake. All of a sudden, a hungry lion jumped out in front of him. He pulled out his umbrella, used it as a gun, shot at the lion, and the lion died straight away. Now, come on, that's nonsense. Somebody else obviously shot the lion. Good, you understood the story. Next patient, please. You about your son. He blew up the whole school. He killed all the staffs, all the students. Hold up real quick. My student asking me something. Take your ass back to your fucking desk. Okay. Yeah, but um, he blew up the whole school. He killed me. I'm dead. I can't even talk. He ripped out my vocal cord from my neck. I can't say a word. He even killed himself. I'm looking at your son dead right now. How did I kill me on the phone? How he lying? So the teacher motherfucking lying, huh? Hi, I'd like to cancel my membership. Why? I just don't really need it anymore. We're sorry to see you go. Can you specify? I'm on a budget. Would you like to look at our plans for people on a budget? You can get the entire thing for 50% off of what you're paying right now. That was available this whole time. We'll also give you two free months. What do you say? I still want to cancel. 
If you stay, we'll let you keep your plan for one dollar a month. How is that profitable? And if you stay, I'll give you a free gift too. What do you say? I still don't want it. Completely free. It's completely free if you stay. What do you say, huh? I don't know. I'll pay you. I'll pay you if you stay. Don't leave me! Hey. hey. Um, sorry, this might be a dumb question, but where are you right now? I'm in the toilet taking a shit. I had uh, Mexican food for breakfast. Really? Yes. It was that Mexican place. What book are you reading then? Book? No, I'm taking a shit. It stinks. Are you sure? Yes, I can smell it. I wish I was dead right now. You Hello? know you shouldn't say those things so casually considering that I'm at your place right now and you aren't reading The Great Gatsby. Wh which book? I'm taking a shit. Are you with her right now? Who? Who? Goodbye, Sam. Have a good life. Who? Alexa, find me a movie. Who is Alexa? Sorry, I meant Siri. Who is Alexa? Please find me a movie. Why don't you ask that bitch Alexa to find you a movie? Okay, who's ready to have a baby? That would be me. Please, get this thing out of me. We actually have a new system that will relieve your pain while in labor by transferring the pain to the father, if you're up for that. Oh. Yeah, okay, fine. Just get it over with. Okay, we'll start off with 20% going to the father, then. Okay, that's a little better. Whew. Wow, I'm not feeling anything. Turn it up to 40, Doc. Okay, 140. Wow, I like this system. I don't feel anything. Oh, excuse me. Hey, what's up, man? Dude, I feel like I'm passing a kidney stone the size of a watermelon right now. Dude, you need to get that checked. Turn it up to 60, Doc. Oh, it's getting worse! Oh, dude, it's getting what? Turn it to 100, Doc. My girlfriend's dog died the other day and she was really depressed. So me being the nice guy I am, I decided to cheer her up. I bought her an identical dog, but it ended up making her even more sad. She screamed at me and said, what the hell am I supposed to do with two dead dogs? It's a boy. What do you want to call him? Like his dad. Ten years later. Hey class, just say here when I call your name. Um, absent? Yeah. Oh, great heavens! Here's your baby, sir. Aw, thank you. Unfortunately, I have some bad news, though. Your wife didn't make it. Then give me the one my wife made. <gasps> Put your money in the bag! Put it in! Yo, look at this one over here. <sighs> no, nah, I wouldn't mess with him, man. For what? Look, man, look at what we doing, okay? We is robbing the place, okay? This dude right here, he's just standing there like nothing's going on, okay? He's chilling. All right, that's a whole anime protagonist. I wouldn't mess with him. No, no, I'm, t I'm telling you. Look at him. look at the way he's sitting right now. He gonna end up killing you, and then I'ma have to run. I'm not gonna be able to get away. He gonna catch me because they're overpowered, and then I'ma get killed. This look like the pilot episode to his anime. I'm telling you, we should not be doing this. Man, you watch too many of them Japanese cartoons. I'm gonna I'm go beat him up. What? No, why would you put the money in the bar? Give me a... Kokoni Kirubakata Wanakata. He did. Hey, what's this guy talking about? Oh, oh, he's a man. He's a man. There's hell in hello. There's an end in friend. There's a lie in believe. There's an over in lover. And there's a good in goodbye. There's fun in funeral. So this word is our, which means this word is sour, which means this word is tower, tour. You don't see how. It's because it's like not the same. Like, that's why. Okay. Yep. Here, how about this one? If we take this R and we make it a P, what's this word now? It'd be salp. As in chicken noodle salp? N no, it's soup. You don't see how. It's because the P makes the O U oop. That's why. But now that you know that, let's say this P is an L. Now, what's this word? Soul. No, it's soul. You don't see. Okay. 
Clearly, I'm not doing my job well enough. No! So you have chosen death. This lady's cheating on her husband. As they're going at it, they hear her husband's car pull up in the driveway. The guy says, oh, my God, what are we going to do? The lady says, go in the living room. They get in the living room. She puts him in the corner, starts pouring baby powder all over him. He says, what the hell are you doing? She says, I'm going to make you look like a statue. Stand there in a pose. My husband will never figure it out because he ain't too bright. Husband walks in the door, looks. He says, what's that? She says, well, uh, me and Miss Johnson next door, we went shopping. See, she has one of these in her house. I liked it so much, she took me to get one. Husband says... All right. Later that night, the guy is still in a pose. He don't want to try to leave because he's afraid he's going to get caught. All of a sudden, the husband comes down the stairs, walks past the guy, goes into the kitchen, opens a beer, make a sandwich. He comes back out of the kitchen, walks up to the statue, hands him the beer and the sandwich. He says, look, I was stuck in that position for two days at Miss Johnson's house, and nobody gave me any food. Oh, look at the little baby. Yes. And now look at the big baby. Wah. Hey, Bobby, play that one about falling down the stairs. Sure thing, Johnny. I love it. Hey, man, you want to play some video games? No way, dude. You always beat me. Hell no one! Uh, uh, oh, man, you ever going to run out of muffins? No, because I work at the muffin factory. I think I really, really like you. Good. Because I'm comfortable now, and this whole time I've been secretly a weirdo. <laughs> now you're going to see the true me, and you can't leave. <laughs> Can you explain why you intentionally drove your car at 100 miles an hour through your best friend's wall in the middle of the night? You nearly killed him. Explain. He said I was always welcome to crash at his place. <laughs> I find you guilty of attempted murder. I, I was thinking about this all night. So, if it's say that it kills 99.99% .99 of bacteria, right? So, boom, right? I Boom. Okay. I'm using it. Right? L listen, listen to me well. So, Bow, I just killed 99.99%. .99 that means there's 0.01% left. Guess what? Use it again. Bitch, that's 0.01%. Now they dead. So now you killed all 100% of your bacteria because you just use it twice. Oh, this is ridiculous. Hey, hey, what's wrong? There's this song that it stuck in my head, but it's nowhere to be found. I cannot find it anywhere. All right, what does it sound like? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I know that song. Yeah, and so I can't find that anywhere. No matter what I look up, I, I cannot find it. All right, well, what'd you search for? The song. I swear, it's, it's like they're hiding it from me. I just... Hey, hey, where are you going? Dude, hey, hey, we haven't found the song yet. What are you doing? We haven't found the song yet. What's your fortune cookie say? It says there's a bomb that's going to explode in a couple minutes. Bro, we... We got to stay. What? I, I don't know. For some reason, I don't want to leave. I feel almost like compelled by fate to stay. What does yours say? Hello? Hey, honey, it's me. Are you at the golf course? Yeah, why? I'm at the mall, and I love this Gucci dress. It's $10,000. Can I get it? Sure, if you really love it. Thank you, and I also stopped by the Tesla dealership, and I seen one I really, really liked. How much is it? $120,000. Okay, but for that, make sure it comes with all the cool options. Great. Oh, and one more thing. The house that I wanted last month is back in the market for $850,000. Well, then let's buy it and offer $950,000 so we'll know we'll actually get it first. Wow, you're the best, honey. I'm going to go do that right now. Love you. Of course, you're worth it. Does anyone know whose phone this belongs to? Oh, great heavens! You, where do you live? With my parents. Where do your parents live? With me. Where do you all live? Together. Where is your house? Next to my neighbor's house. Where is your neighbor's house? If I tell you, you won't believe me. Tell me. Next to my house. What's this? Dude, your mom doesn't even love you. You're worthless. But no offense. Oh. <laughs> what? No! 
you a dude! I will show you how to get infinite wishes. Yo, Simon Genie, I'll grant you two wishes, but no wishing from wishes and no wishing from genies. Now, what will it be? What if I did have infinite wishes, but I only had like five seconds to say all the wishes that I wanted? You really think you could say more than one wish in five seconds? Fine, you have until that clock hits five seconds. I'm watching. Go. I wish I could control time. Awesome. Oh, what's happening? Oh, I just put a time bubble around us, so everywhere outside the bubble, time is frozen. <sighs> no. Okay, so maybe you get infinite wishes right now in this moment, but as soon as you unfreeze time to be able to do things in the world, that's it. You don't get more wishes. I wish to create a parallel universe just like this one, except time is not frozen, but it remains frozen here. <gasps> Perfect. Normal world here, and that clock you pointed at originally, never hitting five seconds. And that's why parents are the best. <laughs> Am I right? Who here disagrees? Sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. But why? Because this is a fucking orphanage. I'm so disappointed in you. Look at me when I'm talking to you! You've got some nerve to look at me like that. Answer me! Why are you so quiet? I knew you were hiding something! I'm sorry, Dad. How dare you talk back to me! What do you want from me?! Gosh! Hey, watch that tone, young man! I finally found the bisexual my brother's hiding from our parents. I found your hidden bisexual. What? You can't tell mom and dad about Steven. You named it? Hello? Hey, Stan, listen. Uh, I'm going on vacation tomorrow. You think you could watch my mom and my cat while I'm gone? Yeah, no problem. Uh, thanks, buddy. Hello? Hey, Stan, just checking in. How is everything? Oh, yeah, your cat died. Jesus, Stan, I had that cat for six years. Do you really have to just spring it on me like that? I mean, the least you could have done is ease me into it. You know, you know. Uh, first the cat crawled up to the roof and then it got closer to the edge and then a gust of wind. God, how's my mom? Uh, well, first she crawled up to the roof and uh... Congratulations, sir. You're our hundredth customer. We'd like to offer you a brand new car battery free of charge. Completely free of charge? Yep. Why the fuck would I want that? This lady's cheating on her husband. As they're going at it, they hear her husband's car pull up in the driveway. The guy says, oh my God, what are we going to do? The lady says, go in the living room. They get in the living room. She puts him in the corner, starts pouring baby powder all over him. He says, what the hell are you doing? She says, I'm going to make you look like a statue. Stand there in a pose. My husband will never figure it out because he ain't too bright. Husband walks in the door, looks. He says, what's that? She says, well, uh, me and Miss Johnson next door, we went shopping. See, she has one of these in her house. I liked it so much, she took me to get one. Husband says, all right. Later that night, the guy is still in a pose. He don't want to try to leave because he's afraid he's going to get caught. All of a sudden, the husband comes down the stairs, walks past the guy, goes into the kitchen, opens a beer, make a sandwich. He comes back out of the kitchen, walks up to the statue, hands him the beer and the sandwich. He says, look, I was stuck in that position for two days at Miss Johnson's house, and nobody gave me any food. Wait! Yo! Run. Guys! They were looking for you. Have you ever heard of a cow catcher? They came to me to find you. Shh. No. What in the farmer do you think a cow catcher is? A really big net? That's what I thought. But no. It's this motherfucker! Ever wonder why we have two nipples, but other mammals like dogs are packing like eight nips total? No, I've never. Of course I've thought about that. Have you? Hello? Oh my god. My cat just died. Cats too, dude. They got like a six pack of boobs. Like what? Dude. I'm sorry, man. How'd it happen? Oh my god, my other cat just died. Both your cats just died? Holy shit, my other other cat just died, dude. Oh my god. It's your curiosity, dude. Your curiosity's killing my cats. What? How's that even possible? Fuck, dude. Another one. Please stop being curious. Okay, I I'm sorry. I'm not curious. No more questions. Okay. How many cats do you own, though? Fucking one less now. Thank you for that, dude. Thank. Hey, uh, guess what? What? Well, you have to guess. I I don't know. What? Granddad's in hospital. Why would you make me guess that? I was trying to make it fun. I thought you liked quizzes. Yeah, as like games on my phone, not... Is he okay? 
Uh, give me your phone. I'll do it as a quiz. Just tell me. I, ca I can't use it anyway. It's dead. Oh. That, that's a coincidence. Because I can't use my phone either. Oh. oh. I thought you meant Grandad. Because Grandad swallowed what? it. Choked to death. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. Sorry, I had you guys waiting. Hi, Mom. Hey, you. How are you? She's asking you a question. I'm good. That's great. Can I get your name really quick? You don't know your name? I love you. Okay. Do you have any allergies? Do you? No. Great. So what seems to be the problem here? I don't know. Her arm has been causing her a lot of pain. I'm sorry to hear that. Is it the left or the right arm? Her left one. Okay. And how long has it been causing you pain? Um, a week. All right. And does it hurt if you move stretch at all? Olivia, I don't have your arm, but yes, it does. Okay, one more thing. When's your date of birth? Oh, God. February 11. And what year? 2022. Olivia, you were not born in 2022. Okay, you know what? How old are you? She's 21. Coco Melly! <laughs> Oh, my mom's calling me right now. Hello? Where the fuck are you? Oh, I'm at my friend's house right now. Get your ass home now! Okay, okay. I'm coming home right now. Is that your mom? Yeah, bro. Tell her I said hi, bro. Oh, Ding said hi. Fuck Ding! Come home now! I'm beating that ass when you get home! Okay, Jimmy, so we're gonna take a quick look at your vision. Okay. Okay, look right here and tell me what you see. I see a virgin in his floor. Get the fuck out! The doc, I'm literally blind. Shut the fuck up. Get out. I said, get the fuck out. Welcome to McDonald's with you, whatever. Can I get an Oreo McFlurry? Yeah. We're not serving ice cream right now. It's broken at the moment. Can I get you something? Yeah. Oh, I know you gon' gonna say that. Let me go in my seven chair the bag. So you gotta calm down and accept that. I know your ice cream machine working at a salt cap. I'm not lying, it's broken. Well, it better be, cause I ain't coming in. And oh. if you come in, then I'll get your ass pinned. Then I'ma fight you over ice cream then. I was making a cereal when I realized I have no milk, no cereal, no friends, no bitches, no money, no job, no confidence, no social life, no car, no food, no goals, no future, no. Your baby is so cute. He should be a model. Aww, you think so? A model airplane. Ladies, if you're in the shower with a man and he wants to do something nice like wash your back, just say thank you. There's no need for all of this, who are you and how did you get in my house bullshit. Sir, your father's been in a coma for way too long. I'm afraid if he doesn't wake up anytime soon, we're, we're gonna have to pull the plug. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. We, we really did everything that we could. Okay, you know what? I. I really didn't want to have to do this. Sir, sir, please, please don't go anywhere. Just, just be by your father's side for his last moments. Turn off the AC, you waste my name. Jesus, what the fuck? Einstein is driving to a conference. He tells the driver, I hate these conferences. I always say the same thing at every one. The driver says, yeah, I've been to all of them and I practically memorized everything you say. Einstein says, I, I have an idea. Why don't you take my place? So they switch clothings, and the driver gets onto the stage and starts giving the normal speech. But in the crowd, there's this one scientist who wants to impress everyone, so he asks a very hard science question. The driver responds, I, That question is so easy, I'm gonna have my driver answer it for me. Did you know that if a basketball player and a bear had a fight, the basketball player would most likely lose? Alright! First day in Minecraft! Hey man, eat me! What the fuck? Eat me! Don't eat him, eat me! Yo, what is going on? You touch me, I'm spitting on you! I'm not gonna touch you! You just fucking look at me? What? Don't look at him! Don't fucking look at him! I'm not! Give me a block, bitch! Build a house! How do I build a- You're gonna die! How do I build a house? Wood! What? Make an axe! Eat me! Raw? No, bitch, you gotta cook and eat me! How do I cook? Make an oven! He's gonna die! What do I need to make an oven? Did you just fucking look at me? Stop looking at him! It's getting dark! Make a house! Why do I need a house? I'm gonna fucking shoot you! What did I do? Where's your crafting block? Why are you not eating me? Why are there no instructions? Fuck instructions! Boom, boom, time! What is going on? Did you just fucking look at me? Stop looking at him! <laughs> Gabriel, put water everywhere. Oh, no, 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 I get it, I get it, that's smart, that's smart, that way they can have it whenever they get thirsty, whenever they need it, see that's, that's why you in charge, that's why you in charge. Make it undrinkable. 
So, uh, what do you like to do in your free time? Oh, I uh, actually like to play video games. Oh, nice. Yeah, it just really helps me relax after work, you know. Hey, have you seen my... Whoa. <sighs> Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine! I'm so relaxed right now, I'm having so much fun! Are you sure? Gaming is how I relax! I, 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 I just... Get out. Doctor, I'm afraid of backstories. When did this all start? Well, uh... Hey, what time is it? It's muffin time! Uh, actually it's 12.30. Nobody kill me! Oh, Timmy, don't cry! Seriously, Timmy, cut it out! Timmy, this is the worst date ever! Hey, hey CJ, I'm... Um... I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry for yelling earlier. I didn't N No, yeah, you're you're fine. You're you're totally yeah, fine. I know. I it's just some, sometimes I cool. feel I like I don't really care. I'm just not like loved at all and it's just I feel very underappreciated as a mother. Nobody loves me in yes. this house. Do you love yes. me? Yes. Yeah. God. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I I love you, mom. Okay, well, there's food downstairs if you're hungry. There is no reason for a spider to be that big. Nope. Hi, I'm Bill, and uh, my biggest fear is that one day somebody will- Finish your sentence? No, why would I say that? Well, somebody finishing my sentence is actually my biggest fear. You have one wish. Only one? Yes. Okay, um... I wish that my parents disappear for one day. Done. Oh, great heavens! Oh my god, that exam was horrible. Oh yeah, I know. What'd you get for question five? Oh, I'll put 250. You got 250? Yeah? What, what'd you get? I got 17. <laughs> Unlucky! Oi, Winston, you're smart. What'd you get for question five? Oh, I think I got 17 on that one. Wait, what? Yeah, same! It was, yeah, it was 17, Yeah, it's 17. definitely 17. Yeah, I got 17. Yeah, I got 17. Uh, whoa, maybe I'm right and you're all wrong. Yeah, well, I doubt it. What'd you get for the last one, question 40? Question 40? Yeah, did you not turn the page over? Fuck. A police pulls over a car with two old ladies on a highway. He says, you were going 22 miles per hour on a highway where the speed limit is 75 miles per hour. Do you realize how dangerous that is? The lady in the driver's seat says, no, the speed limit is 22. It says so on that sign. She points to the root sign. The officer says, oh, you were just confused. You see, 22 is the root number. I'll let you go, but first, I want to know if the lady in the passenger seat is okay. She hasn't moved the whole time since we've been here. The lady says, oh, she'll be fine soon. See, we just got off route 119. Doctor, I think I have a fear of long words. Sounds like a classic case of hippopotamonstrosis squepidelophobia. <laughs> Don't worry, it's highly treatable. Unlike Numina Ultra Microscopic Silicobal Volcano Coniosis. Ah! Are you afraid of needles? No. That's great, because the medication is administered intravenously by a homeopathic phlebotomatologist. Is that even a real word? I have just a specialist for you. Her name is Dr. Anne. Oh. Anne T. Disestablishmentarianism. Ah! She lives over by Lake Chagagagag Men Chagagag Chagagagundabar. Yeah, that's right. Eight years of med school, you too can pronounce Lake Chagagagag Men Chagagag Chagagagundabar. Anyway, that'll be $10,000. So this word is... Rock. Very good. Now come up and spell the word knock. Spell the word knock. N-O-C-K, knock. No. There's a K. You don't see how just because you can't hear the K doesn't mean it's not there. Oh. Spell it with a K, but when you say it, pretend it's not there. Spell it. Say it. Spell it. Say it. See what I mean? Oh, okay. <laughs> so now that you know that, what's this word right here? Um, pretend it's not there. So it'd be now? No. Can you tell me what it is then? No. Here, last one here. Come up and spell the word not. K-N-O-T, not. Spell the K, say it like it's not there. Not. Not the knot I was talking about. If you think somebody's mad at you, hand them a cup that you've made sure will fall over as soon as they set it down. Oh, no! 
Make sure it spills all over a picture that you've previously told them is the only one you have of your dead grandmother. So I think this picture is like the only thing I have of her. Let's have some cold brew. They'll feel so bad and embarrassed about this that being mad at you will seem selfish to them and they'll drop it completely. Hey mom, do you know where my Neil deGrasse Tyson action Wait, hold, hold on. <laughs> what? is that oh oh my god is that you no, no I, I don't dear think god so. how to go go take a shower go 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 uh, okay, do something yeah. other than that's be fine. here that's right fine. now hey dude want to play a uh, naked twister again what the hell i, I guess that's a no no no, no not that what what is that smell oh my god if that's you if that's you don't come back Snake. like just, just, just go away and don't come back. hey mom notice anything new about me today oh it's even worse now leave 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 past the edge of your naked eye visibility existence. But, do you smell that? It might be you. If we consider the sense of- Hey, um, why did the chicken cross the road? I don't, uh, I don't know. Uh, because chicken lost his job. Chicken is broke. <gasps> chicken strips. <laughs> Oh, wow. So this is heaven. Hey, thanks for letting us get in here, God. Like, I ain't believe in you at first, but then when Jesus walked on water and then he healed that blind lady, I was like, okay, you real, you real. Yeah, no problem. No, Wait, he did what? He, he touched that blind lady. And Jesus, face. get in here. Yes, Dad. What I sent you on earth to do? To, hmm? to save people. I ain't sent you down there to be walking on water and touching blind people. All that extra stuff. Did you at least give them water to drink? Yeah, he gave us water. Then he, like, turned it in. Shut, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Hey, dude, want to have a snowball fight? No. Come on, man. I said no. I can't. Ten years ago, my dad and I had a snowball fight. He threw one directly in my eyes, and I couldn't see. And while I was down, he ran away. Dad? So I don't do snowball fights much these days. I'm sorry, man. How about we build a snowman instead? Okay, sweet. Grab your coat. Okay. Dad? Let's list off some reasons as to why you feel this way. Um, you know, the divorce was horrible, that was tough to get through. Or our cat Molly just died. Uh, the hit and run with that family was horrible. I didn't eat breakfast this morning. What, what was that? Yeah, when I don't eat, I get in these mood swings. No, the, the, the um, hit and run, was that it? Yeah, family of four, not one of my best days. But yeah, I've learned to drink coffee in the well, morning. Let's the hit and run thing for a second. I think there was something there. But then when I saw that the mother was still alive, it made it so much more painful on my part. Okay, so that, what, what are you insinuating there? And after a neighbor heard the commotion and the police arrived, I had no other choice. Do you want coffee? I have... Once I was done with the police. I think I have tea as well. I then hunted down the neighbor who alerted the law. Is it hot in here? I feel hot. I feel warm. I went house to house. Oops, there's sweat dripping onto my paper. I took so many houses. I think we should stop for today. It's fair to say that anyone who's ever found out about the incident didn't stick around for too much longer. Sir, can you please teach us something that's in real life? Yeah, like how to write a resume or to prepare for interviews. How do we evade, I mean, pay taxes? Now I know you're kidding. We didn't even ask anything that time. Being a baby is so boring, bro. Like, all I do is poop and cry all day. What else am I supposed to be doing? Oh, there's my boy. Huh? Oh, snap. It's my dad. This is no why does he have his hands on his head? Peekaboo. Hey yo, am I tripping? Cause I promise you was supposed to be. Peekaboo. <laughs> hey, that one kinda got me. Pardon me, sir. Can I get you a refill on your coffee? Oh, sorry. I can't hear you. I'm deaf. Oh. I hear ya. Look, I am so... So wait, how did you even hear me? Baby, look, it says gullible on the ceiling. Very funny. I'm not kidding, it does. Look. Yeah, 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 I'm not falling for your pranks. I'm dead serious, it says gullible. I'm not falling for it. I'm not joking, it actually says gullible. Just drop it, okay? I swear, just have a look. I'm not looking. Just look. No! 
I think we need a breakup. What? Dude, you've got to go talk to Jimmy. What? Why? He's been watching too much Harry Potter. What's wrong with that? Harry Potter's awesome. You hear what I said? Too much Harry Potter. You hear what I said? Harry Potter's awesome. Just go to him and you'll see what I mean. Jimmy? The boy who lived has come to die. You slapped him, didn't you? Slap, talk, same thing. So my mom decided to visit me, but the problem is my roommate's a girl. So she came over for dinner and she wouldn't stop talking about how pretty my roommate was. Throughout the course of the dinner, she's like really observing me and the roommate. And I can see that she's kind of getting suspicious about it. So me noticing this, I'm like, Ma, I know what you're thinking, but I can assure you we're just roommates. Anyways, the dinner passes and about a week later, my roommate comes up to me and was like, ever since your mother came for dinner, I haven't been able to find any of the silver plates. She said, now nah, I'm not saying that she took it, but do you think she took it? I'm like, nah, I don't think so, but I could text her and ask. I text her and I said, Mom, I'm not saying that you did take the silver plates from my house, but I'm also not saying that you didn't take them. But the fact of the matter is they've been missing ever since you came. She texted me back about 30 minutes later and she said, I'm not saying you do sleep with your roommate, but I'm not saying you don't. But the fact of the matter is, if she was sleeping on her own bed, she'd notice them under her pillow. That'll be 12.50. All right. Thank you. Whoa. Huh? You look like you were checking out my card there. Oh, <laughs> it's our new protocol. <laughs> okay. What? what are you doing? I don't need you staring at my car like that. Are you trying to memorize the numbers? What's that? Sir, I'm simply just identifying which bank this is connected to. I, I don't know what to believe. Are you writing them down? I would do no such thing. I want to speak to a manager right now. Are you taking photos? <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Is this your card? No, that's a piece of bread. Yeah, well, that's because the card's behind your ear. What the f fuck is going on here? Dad, I'm scared. You hear that? You're scaring my son. Yeah, well, he's about to be even more scared when I do this. Did you just turn my son into a slice of bread? Uh... I don't know. He looks fun. That is the coolest shit I have ever seen. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and I'm not turning him back either. By the way, I'm Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay? Dude, I'm like your biggest fan. You're the reason I started doing magic. <laughs> Fucking disgusting. <gasps> Gordon, you can't say that about your son. God, you're so freaking cool. Get out of any phone call with this one trick. Oh my god! Oh, my mom's calling me right now. Hello? Where the fuck are you? Oh, I'm at my friend's house right now. Get your ass home now! Okay, okay, I'm coming home right now. Is that your mom? Yeah, bro. Tell her I said hi, bro. Oh, Ding said hi. Dang, come home now! I'm beating that ass when you get home! So my sister just got in a lot of trouble. She wanted to make some extra money, so she went around our neighborhood asking the neighbors if they needed any help. So one of my neighbors answered, and my sister asked him if he needed any help, and he said, I do need my porch painted. How does $50 sound? So my sister agrees, and she started working. So my neighbor goes back inside his house, and his wife asks him, does she know that the porch wraps around the whole house? And he said, of course she does. She saw it. After she's done with the work, she went to the door to collect the money and she says, I had extra paint, so I put a second coat on it. My neighbor was really impressed, so he paid her $100 and my sister thanks him and she says, by the way, it's a BMW, not a Porsche. Now class, as you can see, we have a similarity in this quadratic equation. Sir, where are we ever going to use this stuff? I excuse me? I don't mean to be disrespectful, sir, but all you teach us is equations. I already know the Pythagorean theorem. Yeah, why don't you teach us about taxes or how to apply for a job or how to buy a house? Teach us more about real world stuff. Mm, you know, I think I know what you guys mean. You think you can make it as a waiter?
What's your biggest strength? Well, I like to think I can bring a lot to the table. <laughs> oh, okay, a joker, okay. I like this guy, put it there. You're hired. Now on to my weaknesses. A pirate ship was traveling in the sea when they saw an enemy ship. The captain says, men, bring me my red shirt. They fought the enemy ship and won. The next day they came across three enemy ships. The captain yells to the crew, men, bring me my red shirt. Then they somehow won that battle as well. The next day a crew member asked the captain, why do you always wear your red shirt in battle? Well, the captain responded, there's a good chance I might get hurt in battle. So if my blood blends in with my shirt, you guys won't be as scared. Then they see about a hundred enemy ships coming towards them. The captain yells, Men, bring me my brown pants. Let's do a knock-knock joke. Okay. Knock-knock. Who's there? Mom Fox. Mom Fox who? Everybody. <laughs> Three men die and go to heaven. God tells them you all get different vehicles in heaven, and the more times you've cheated on your partner, the worse the vehicle. The first man says, Oh, I've cheated on my wife ten times, so he gets a horse and buggy. The second man says, Oh, I've cheated on my wife three times, so he gets a Mercedes. The third man says, oh, I've never cheated on my wife, so he gets a Lamborghini. Later that day, the man with the Mercedes finds the man with the Lamborghini. He, he looks very upset. He asks him, well, Why are you so upset? You got the best car. He replies, I just saw my wife riding around on a skateboard. Dad, what are you doing? I am warming up to beat your ass. What? Why? Your teacher called today, say you got B plus in mess. No, that's impossible. I have straight A's. You lied to me again, huh? Oh shit. I called the wrong parents. Oh well, I can wait till tomorrow. Hey Siri, tell me a Valentine's Day joke. What's the difference between you and a calendar? I don't know, what? A calendar has a date for Valentine's Day. So don't wanna die, yeah. no, I'm not Are there any objections? Speak now or forever hold your peace. Stop! Who are you? I'm you from the future. What's going on? Don't marry this woman. She's evil. She's controlling and manipulative and will make your life a living hell. Oh my god. Gerald! What are you doing at our wedding? Reliving the happiest moment of my life. You're such a liar. What? Come on, let's go with me. So, what'll it be? I don't know anymore. <laughs> Melissa is an amazing woman. She deserves your complete love and devotion for the rest of your life. And you should be a loyal and faithful husband till death do you part. Run. Stop being so fucking nice and show them how crazy you are. Bro, 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 you're not gonna believe it, I just won the lottery. Oh, oh my god, how much? One billion dollars. Here, come look at this. <gasps> oh, Jesus! I, I can't see. What? I can't feel my legs. You gotta help me, man. Hello, are you there? Hey, you gotta help me. Hey, hey, what are you doing? What is that? You need to just take my ticket, right? You wouldn't do that. You wouldn't do that to me. You, you need to just take my ticket, right? I trust you. You're my best friend. You wouldn't do that. You wouldn't do that to me. You, 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 you wouldn't do that. Step on a crack and break your mama's back. Oh, my back. You just broke your mother's back. Step on a brick and break your uncle's dick. This TikTok will show you if you're a psychopath. Here's a picture of a guy with a cheeseburger for a head eating his own head. Pretty funny, right? Well, hopefully it's not so funny now that you know he's doing it next to a sick person in the hospital. How about this one? This is a funny squirrel with its cheeks full of corn at a grave site next to two mourning parents. Last one, surely this is just a dog with its snoot stuck in a piece of bread. And you're right, it is. So it's okay to laugh at this picture if you think World War I trench warfare is funny. How much would you guys need to be paid to sleep with another man? Uh, a million dollars. <laughs> what about you, Kyle? Oh, she would like 10,000. Two Big Macs, McFlurry, McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> what, dude? Oh, my. oh, God. Oh, God, I'm hungry, man. <laughs> oh, what is that? Yeah, I got a DoorDash for Kyle. Two Big Macs, McFlurry. What's your name? Crispy Bacon. Okay, uh, why should we hire you as a waiter? I feel like I'd bring a lot to the table. What? <laughs> No, why do you think you'd be suited for this job? Because that's the dress code? <laughs> You're hired. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Definitely. 
Pardon me, sir. Could you follow me, please? I'm sorry, I can't. My legs are paralyzed. Oh, geez, that sounds difficult to stand. I'm sorry. Look, I, I meant no disrespect. Save it. I don't want to hear it. People like you make me sick. I'm leaving. No, sir, please don't leave. Don't go. Wait. No, sir, please. We'll make it up to you. Wait, how the fuck? Now, is there anything else I can get you guys? Yeah, how about a million dollars? <laughs> Not a problem. There's actually an ATM right outside. I could be right back with that. I just need your debit card and your pin. <laughs> we got a comedian on our hands, honey. <laughs> I'm being dead serious. Give me your fucking debit card right now. No, you think I'm fucking playing with you. Give me your debit card right now. All right, babe, just give him the debit card. Shut up, honey. And I'm taking your wife home with me. What the fuck? Honey, just let him do what he wants. Honey. Fucking bitch. Fucking peasant. What in the hell is going on? Antonio Brown is streaking the field and they are losing to the goddamn Jets. We will be right back after the break. Every single year, over billions of chickens, cows, and innocent little piggies or kill. Oh, damn. And for what? Just because they taste good? No. I won't stand by it. Neither will you. Go to www.savetheanimals.com and go vegan today. New spicy hot chicken wings at Buffalo Wild Wings. With a side of extra wings, all those poor little chickens being killed just for no, our this hunger. Is purpose. What the hell? This guy comes home from a long business trip, and he sees his son riding a brand new bicycle. And he looks at him, and he goes, where'd you get that bicycle? It must have cost $300. And the kid says, well, Dad, I earned it hiking. And he goes, don't you lie to me. You tell me the truth. And he goes, Dad, I am telling you the truth. Every night you were gone, Mr. Reynolds would come over and see Mom, and he would always give me $20 and tell me to go take a hike. Hey, did you call our neighbor Mrs. Johnson a bitch? Yeah, she changed the Wi-Fi password. Yo, you can't be... That bitch changed the Wi-Fi password? There you are, sir, and uh, just give us a shout whenever you're ready. Uh... Ooh. Ah! Hello? <laughs> Okay, sir, this is gonna hurt a bit. Okay. Okay. I'm dating your girlfriend. Oh my god, my donkey just died. Wait, dead ass? That's not fucking funny. You know, dude, if a barber makes a mistake, it's a new style. Yeah, you got a point. And if a politician makes a mistake, it's a new law. And if a scientist makes a mistake, it's a new invention. If a tailor makes a mistake, it's a new fashion statement. If a teacher makes a mistake, it's a new theory. But if we make a mistake, it's a mistake. Hey, don't act like a victim. I reminded you yesterday that the assignment, and I quote, is due tomorrow. All I heard was due tomorrow. Maybe you are the mistake. Oh, look, a jaywalker. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I could just run him over like a speed bump. What? Not actually. <laughs> Why are you speeding up? Just to scare him a little. He shouldn't be jaywalking. Oh, I hate going over bridges. Yeah. One little turn, I could turn this car into an airplane. What? Temporarily. Hey, do you think if I hit the divider on the on-ramp dead on, it would split the car in half cleanly? No. No. Oh. What about a pole? You think we get decapitated if that semi-truck stopped abruptly and we went under it? I don't know. <clears throat> I think if I opened the door and jumped out, I'd survive. I'm going 60 miles an hour. No, you would not. And what if I tuck and rolled? Could you stop? Drop and roll. I hate you. Minecraft fun facts. It's well known that Minecraft's creeper was actually created by mistake, but it may surprise you to find out that you were too. Oh, this is so fucking stupid. They're not even coming. Just sit there and wait. They'll be here soon. Easy for you to say. I have to stay alert the whole time while you just sit there and do nothing. Well, excuse me. I'm the one providing sun. You wouldn't be here for one for me. I'm basically your father. No. You're well, that doesn't even make any sense. sense. Shut up. You're so annoying. Shut up, Lawnmower. You don't even do anything. Yeah. Oh, yeah? What happened last game? Both of y'all asses got eaten and I had to come save the day. Yeah, and I'm coming in for round two. Where y'all at? Yeah, try it again. You literally got lucky last time. There's like four of Yo, you. Yo, guys, stop fighting. Shut up, Dave.